We're both from big families, so we all also thought we would have lots of children as well. And so when um, we decided that we wanted to start our family and I fell pregnant quite quickly, uh, we were really excited and started to make all the plans that you do in your head about what the future holds. Um, but then sadly things took a turn at about seven weeks pregnant and I started to miscarry. Although people were supportive and meant well when we told them what we'd gone through, it did feel that they didn't really understand the full impact, particularly because it was early. The comments were like, well, it's one of those things, it will happen, they're really common. But what people didn't really understand was that we were just completely broken. When I fell pregnant again, we were really excited, uh, but also incredibly anxious about what could happen. And so when at eight weeks I was told that the baby had died, I just completely lost it and our world collapsed. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> So when I found out I was pregnant for the third time, my immediate thought was, here we go again. I couldn't feel any excitement or joy at first. I was just incredibly anxious um, and just expected that the same thing was going to happen again. The rest of that pregnancy was actually problem free and I did have a lot of scans to allay my anxieties and to check that things were okay. And Ben was born in March 2013 and he's just a complete joy. <laughs> Since Ben was born, uh, we've actually gone on to have two more early but equally devastating miscarriages. Um, and after those two, um, I was diagnosed with a underactive thyroid, which I'm now being treated for. And um, we're really excited because I'm now five months pregnant and expecting another baby early next year. 